The season is ripe. I need to take a few more trips. How many? How long will you be gone for? Six months. Six months is too long a period to leave a dying woman all by herself. You're closing in on all points and we need that approval. What exactly does code blue mean? Cocaine turns blue when tested. The Bible says, seek ye first, and all these things shall be added unto you. If anything happens while I'm away, take my son and run. Drink! Look at your feet. Me that I'm boss here. I'll finish it for you. How long have you been working for the league? I have no idea who they are. <laughs> Why can't we please work together? I need you to handle this mess. You're under arrest for your involvement in the trafficking of drugs. No, shut up. This is bullshit. Eleven days to Valentine's Day. On a Valentine's Day, new movie comes out. It's simply called Kotoka. What's it all about? Well, I have with me a person who just is, describes herself on Twitter as entrepreneur, but she's much more than that. Actor, model, philanthropist, film producer, Yvonne Nelson. Good morning. Happy New Year. Good morning. Happy New Year. How, how are you day? Good. We day. We day inside. We day inside. <laughs> Kotoka. Yep. When I heard the name, I was thinking, okay, is it a political something? And then there's only two things I think about for Kotoka, politics and then the airport. Yeah. Then when I thought, oh, it's not politics, then it's Apple. Is it going to be drugs? What? Give, give, give us the one line. You're without close. Without getting too much away. You're close, you're close. <laughs> um, well, What's the story? 30% of the movie was shot in the Kotoka International Airport. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we decided to name the movie Kotoka. But the story is about two women, Ruby Benson. I play Ruby Benson, mm -hmm. a well-to-do lady, and Naya Asel. Mm -hmm. She's like struggling, mm -hmm. you know. But these two ladies made one choice which goes on to affect you know them and their loved ones and the rest will be at the cinema one time <laughs> and you're you, you you're doing this uh on valentine's day yes valentine's why day. because ghana i don't val's day is like usually dry mm -hmm. you know we don't do anything uh, you look around and there's nothing happening so i decided to it's really very strategic you know like I've been talking to Silverbird since last year. And I'm like, hey, Charlie, Val's Day is mine. Mm. Please, mm -hmm, you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I know people usually ask, oh, where, what to do, where to go. Mm -hmm. So I always, you know, try to. Last year, I had, I had a premiere on Val's Day. Last two years, I did a premiere on Val's Day. And this year, okay. it's Val's Day. But, uh, you, I also read on your Twitter that you, we can't handle love. <laughs> so what are you doing something uh, uh, like this on the day that is meant for lovers? So we cannot handle love, so we clone it. <laughs> We, Knockoffs don't last. We do. What were you saying? You, you can't handle love? We all can't. Not just you. Everyone. Married couples, those doing their, I don't know, side chicks, main chicks. Everyone is just lying to each other. I feel like when you love someone, you wouldn't lie to them. You wouldn't hurt them, you know. Um, so it's something that we all can't do. So our version of love is not even love. We just misuse the word. You know? So that's what I meant. But I believe in love. And I believe I have a lot, a lot of love to give. But I don't think there's anyone out there who can give me that love that I will give. What kind of love do you think you can give for which there's no recipient? Agape love. Agape love. <laughs> oh, we could break it down. What is it? Love without sex. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. Yes. Can you? It's a, an ideal. Well. Uh, it's possible. Some people are giving it. You think so? Hey, where? In Ghana or where? You are, when did you become a cynic? Yvonne? Okay, uh, so uh, what? Can we talk about Kutuka? Yeah, yes, yeah, Kutuka is being <laughs> launched on Valentine's Day. Day. Valentine's Day is about okay, love. Okay, so you see, like, love. it's not just for lovers, okay? Uh -huh. This movie is not just, it's not, it's not even a, 
romantic movie. Okay. It's it's a great movie. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to come out and see it. So I've been telling people, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you have a date or not. Mm -hmm. Just bring mm -hmm. your family members, your colleagues, buy tickets for people and come and see the movie. Okay, let's talk about movie, movie making. What are the elements of like a great movie? If you had to give a, a little master class on, on movie making, what would be the key ingredients of a great movie? Great movie. So first of all, your script, you know, because that's where everything starts. You know, so you, you need a good script. So good writers, good script. Storyline has to be great. Equipment, you know, you need some decent equipment. Um, we don't want to watch a movie and we'll hear some generator in the background. So make sure that production is great. You know, crew members and then casting. It's a lot. It's a lot. Casting has to be great. What is casting? Casting, um, getting the right personnel, right um, people mm -hmm. to play the characters mm -hmm. in the movie. So, for example, you saw um, Ikra Pimpolo mm -hmm. or Majid. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You need to sit down and look at what Majid is good at doing, his strengths, you know, what he's capable of doing. And then you cast him. You don't say, oh, because this person is my friend or this person is just pretty. They just have a great face. So you, you also have to look at the talent, you know. So One of the peers was saying that you seem to be able to get the best out of Majid. <laughs> she thinks that when he's in your movies, he, he shines. Yeah. What, 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 what's the Majid persona that you're able to draw out? Okay. First of all, we're very good friends. And I believe, okay, it's not like because Majid feels like my movies are great or anything. Mm -hmm. But um, I bring out the best in him. I know how to do that. So when he comes on my set, mm. I'm a very serious... No, I'm directing. I directed this movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you come on my set, it will just come. You know, the juices will, will flow naturally. Is he still a bad boy? Because I always see him as a bad boy in, in movies. Majid always wants to play the bad boy. Anytime I call him for... A, I mean, I'm giving him a script. Mm -hmm. He'll ask me, Yvonne, I hope say this one. I know they play any. Like, he wants to play a bad mm -hmm. person, you know? So yeah, in all the movies I have casted him in, He's still the bad boy. Is it harder to play a bad person? It, I, I feel like it depends on personality, like your persona. Mm -hmm. For me, I started with, you know, the arrogant roles. <laughs> um, I don't know why Salam kept giving me characters or roles like that. And I play them well. Maybe it's because you're tall and you can dominate most men just by physically. Hey, Charlie, what no, is that? No, yeah. You Maybe. think so? I think so. I hear, no, I hear. I know men are intimidated by tall women. Yes. You know that yourself. I do. Okay. I do. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Well. Is it painful? It, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Because sometimes when you're hugging them, you hug, I'm always hugging their heads. You know, like, <laughs> the head is here. Like, oh. How I don't they, think they are complaining. How are you? where their head is. <laughs> I don't think they complain too much. <laughs> But, but men are just intimidated by successful women. Women and, and, and tall, successful women. Oh, gosh, you can imagine. It's crazy out there on the streets. Okay. Yeah. So you talked about the script has to be good, the equipment has to be good, yes. the cast has to be good. Right, History. right. Mm -hmm. And um, post-production, you know, the, the director, sorry, the editor, mm -hmm. the person doing your uh, coloring, you know, the colorist, the sound score. So a lot goes into, when we are done, mm -hmm. then post-production also plays a, a significant role. Because if you don't have great editors, then they just mess up everything you shot. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's, um, mm -hmm. this thing that I'm doing is not for everyone. I keep saying mm -hmm. it, that you have to have a little bit of you know, craziness okay. in there to do what I do. Because you will get frustrated and people will just mess you up and you know disappoint you and um it, i believe there's a lot of passion going on with me i i'm so passionate about this whole thing i love doing it and i i'm going to be around for a long time i can't see myself doing any other thing apart from when did you dis realize that this acting talent could now become a career in all the facets that it has mm. expressed itself in you in 2010 a group of producers came together to ban me. When they did, I was usually like locked up in my room, my curtains, you know, closed, dark room. You're depressed? Very. Why very. did they ban you? Refresh your mind. 
uh, something happened on Abdul Salam's set, mm -hmm. and I complained about it. What and happened? So I, I, I went on set two days continuously, and they did, they did nothing with me. They didn't shoot my scenes. And at that time, I was at Central University. I remember I had quizzes. I had essays to write. I had stuff to do. And Salam knew I was in school. You know, like when you're casting someone, they tell you, oh, I've got lectures, blah, blah, blah. But I felt like they just ignored me. You know, no one cared, okay, whether you're in school, whatever. Like there's so many girls on the line waiting to play, you know, what you're doing on the set, you know. So why are you even complaining? So the third day I told them that, listen, if I come the next day and you guys don't film, that will be it. You threatened the director? I did not threaten anyone, but I told them that I've been here first day, second day, shoot my scenes, let me go. What did the guy say when you told him this? Um, yeah. <laughs> Craziness. Uh, everyone was just freaking out. Salam got angry, and I left. But I remember Majid was on the set, and he re he he remembers everything that happened on the day. So I went back. I went to school, and all I heard was, "Oh, we're banning Yvonne Nelson." It was all over the news. We're not going to allow her to act uh, for a year. So that happened. They had the power. Who back? Who gave them the power? <sighs> well, it's. It's a man's world mm. and dominated by men. The industry is dominated by men. So um, there was little I could do. And I was looking up to a few of the older women to, you know, put in a word or something for me. But no one did. And at that moment, I could just tell how people were happy that Yvonne was out of the way. I could feel the hate. Mm. Yes. So um, I did a lot of reflection. I registered a company, Wyom Productions. Nice. And I'm here today. I'm pretty much the, like one of the few producers producing, making movies now. So if they, if they should they could ban you again, they should go ahead and ban you even some more, right? Because they brought out good stuff. Oh, yeah. Blessings. A lot of blessings. And then at the same time, Nigeria also, um, you know, I started going to Nigeria, making movies there. Mm -hmm. So it was good. It was a bad year, but it became good. What were some of the challenges in running your own company? Not even just a film company, but your own company in Ghana. In Ghana? Yes. Uh, hmm. Staff, employees, my crew members, some of them have been very... Sometimes they get lazy and it's frustrating because you'd find me on set screaming and shouting and like what are you guys doing like this is common says like come on you know i do that a lot so yeah people will frustrate you so i would say that's that's been like my biggest challenge working ah with crew members crazy <laughs> how do they do with time because you for an interview that started at 8 30 you were here at 6 20 or so and i was thinking why what is wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, because this is, this is professional. I came up and I told you that yeah. this, is, uh, this is super professional. But right. time issues, uh, how are people handling the whole time thing with you? Because, hey. Um, there was a movie I shot last year, which did not end up well. I was filming with uh, some social media influencers, and they came on set playing. Some of them would, I would tell them, hey, you need to come on set at 7. They'll end up coming at 2 p.m. So guess what happened? I had to scrap the whole movie. I had to reshoot. Yeah, like I shot two movies in two months. So I lost the whole movie. It ended up at a police station. You know, the whole, the money was gone. Done. Ashi. Ashi. We be our court. So I don't know. People are not disciplined enough. And I feel like they don't respect the job. You know, a lot of people don't respect what we do. And it's sad to see people who do, like you're an entertainer and you know, and you're still acting this way. I mean, come on, if it was your money, would you do this? You know, so, yeah, it's challenging, but hey, we're still here. We're still here. What were their excuses for coming in with? Um, <laughs> I don't know, but they're, they're pretty young, and I guess they're still learning, and they will learn. They will learn. <laughs> I'm hanging here with uh, filmmaker and entrepreneur, Yvonne Nelson. Your questions on 055-556. 1034 hashtag GTV breakfast across social media everywhere from TikTok to, to TikTok <laughs> and everything in between. Kotoka, mm. it's a security zone. Yeah, how did your cameras get inside the airport to take or, or, or those were <laughs> mock ups? 
No. Uh, Those we are real were, things? We were there. So there's a, a commercial services department. Mm -hmm. uh, we were there months, months, months before we shot. Um, so I went through the protocols, mm -hmm. the whole procedure. Mm -hmm. They asked that I ensure my cast and crew. I oh. did that. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, everyone. I, I'm sure over 25 people. Um, and then there's a daily rate which you pay. Hey. Yes, yes. So, yeah. Could you come make money? <laughs> kind they of. They made money from you. <laughs> yeah. Before you make your money from your, your I'm movie. telling you. I'm telling you. And, yeah, they gave us, like, two security personnel to be mm -hmm. with us the entire time. So we don't get in, in the way of travelers, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, it was really smooth. Because mm -hmm. I was there early with my crew. We had makeup done, costume. And we started filming around 6 a.m., I, I remember. So, yeah, it, it went well. It went well. The movie scene in Ghana is, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I see a lot of people try to compare it with Nigeria. Do you think it's fair? Well, we're free to compare and do all the comparison. Um, but when people start, um, I don't know, bashing us and what we do, that's where I have a problem with because, I mean, as a fact, we can never compare the population in Nigeria mm -hmm. and here. Mm -hmm. But I believe that we're, I mean, both countries are doing great content. Like if you watch, if you come to the cinema and you see Kotoka, you'd, you'd know that, hey, there was so much effort, you know, put into this production. I believe we're all doing great productions. We all have our movies on Netflix, on Amazon Prime. Um, on airlines, you know. So, yeah, it's just, uh, the only factor is the numbers. Yeah, they have an advantage when it comes to the numbers. So how do you get around that? Because, you, of course, you want those numbers to yeah. to patronize your movie. Mm. Because it's a business. Yes, yes, yes. So sometimes what you do is marketing, or you make sure you put in a Nigerian face to help, you know, boost, um, I mean, get eyeballs from, mm -hmm. from Nigeria as well. But... On the whole, you have to market your, your movie well and make sure you have a good product. Make sure your movie is good, it's standard. So, you started as an actor. When we were discussing you coming here, so one of the pieces, how come a lot of the Ghanaian movies have like very wooden actors? You have people who don't really express themselves. I thought it was quite a sweeping statement, but mm. I just wanted to pass it on to you. I mean, how do you get into character and become real so it's believable? Mm. Not just generators sounding when they should they are not generators. Oh, the human beings themselves. Yeah. We want to believe that what you're going through is real. How do you do that? How do we do that? Yeah. Oh. Talent. It's, it's something we've been doing for a while. So you practice. You rehearse it. You know, we have um, uh, conferences where we go over the scripts with everyone, the the, the cast members. Um, I know people look at me and John DeMello and they're thinking, oh, but these people should have ended up together. Why? Because we play oh, our, yeah, yeah, the characters really well and it's so believable and they're thinking, oh, these two. You know, happening. Aha. So I believe as an actor, you need to be believable. Like people have to watch you and, and think that ah, this girl is rude and arrogant. And I've had that issue for the longest time. Ever since I acted Princess Tyra, everybody thinks I'm stuck up. Like, mm, this girl, she's... And well, I take it like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So what would be like a Princess Tyra kind of demeanor? <laughs> hey, I, I felt that, man. <laughs> you need to put like petals on the floor when I'm walking, you know, like I have to, I have to feel like a princess. I need to, you know, like me and oh, I'm coming, give way, give way. Mame kwae na membra. Yeah, Jale, I feel demeaned already, man. <laughs> and then the crying thing. Yeah. How are people able to just cry on demand? Can you cry on demand? Yeah, but don't tell me to cry here, No, no, I'm please. not going to cry, but I just okay. want to know. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it takes a while, though. Sometimes when nothing sad has happened in your life, you will not cry. Like me, when I started, hey, they'll put rub, 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 rub. Mm -hmm. Frank Raja, I remember Frank Raja will come in. Yvonne, ah, ah, now nah, we're waiting for you. Cry. Uh. Yes. Sometimes, like, 30 minutes, one hour, you have to cry. So, Yeah. And then they will be laughing. They think you people, why are you laughing at me? I need to get into character. You guys are laughing. But I think after a while, you know, after a while, you you do it. 
so it, it for me it took a lot of time for mm. me to yeah really when's, get into that space when's the last time you cried for real and not on a set for real yes real crying hmm. two days ago what happened <laughs> watching movies talking to people so i was talking to a doctor friend and he was telling me about how um infertility is an issue and how you know it's um breaking homes and all of that it was just a lot of weight you know and i i kind of broke down yeah yeah because the stories he he told me mm, he can't even imagine so that made me tear up are you i mean are, are your tear ducts so easy to open up are you really a kind of very emotional person Rin brought my uh tears to life ever since i had uh, yeah my daughter um she changed me she changed me she, she's changed everything she's changed everything now i want to stay alive i want to be around because of her you know um i feel like she's a reason i'm here on earth you know so it's, it's really deep and i love this version of myself what was the old Yvonne like Oh, I didn't pre, really care. Pre, the pre <laughs> Um, I didn't really care about much, you know, but now I am responsible for a life. You know, this girl is looking up to me and I have to be around for her. So I need to take care of myself. I need to be a, um, a good example to her. So, see, I'm, I'm thankful that I had a baby. <laughs> what was it like? Painful, because um, she almost came in the car, hey. and I held her head. You held her head? Yes, and the, I remember the driver, it was my neighbor who drove me to the hospital. He looked back and saw everything and started saying, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. I said, drive! Exactly. What, what's Jesus going to do with this? Get out of your car. <laughs> no, he was looking at the head. But you're supposed to turn around and drive <laughs> now, driver. And the portals, hey, God, the portals on that Ajengano road, I will never forget. I was hanging. Oh, I was hanging in the car. Go! I, I was screaming. It was the craziest thing. And I remember when I got to the hospital, the doctor was like, "If one never do this again, you could have lost the baby." I'm like, "Yeah, but I didn't know. Mm. My water broke at home. Yeah. What am I supposed to do?" The baby nearly came out in the car. Yes, she, I was holding her head. I was like hanging, holding her head, you know, screaming. And I remember Jamie was around. And anytime he says anything, I'm like, shut up, Jamie. Like, you guys go, drive. <laughs> um, so I got to the hospital and in less than a minute, she was out. So it was really risky, very. Can you imagine? And she'll grow up and she'll respect you. When she nearly came out in the car. <laughs> she did, <laughs> she should wait. <laughs> On the 18th of January, you tweeted a lost generation. Who are you talking to? <clears throat> oh, I have forgotten. Um, I guess it's our generation and the the ones after us. Rain's generation that is coming. Oh no, oh oh, but they, they haven't even started at all. Okay, so our our why are we Gen like? Z's mm. or how do you call them? Gen Z's? I'm 51, I'm not a Gen Z. <laughs> yeah, they're called the Gen Z's. I think I came across something and I just could not believe it. You know, I heard a story about a lady who left her baby in, in the room, um, gave some medication or so, and um, went to the club. You know, I've been hearing stories like that, like women, young ladies who get pregnant, have the babies and... Yeah, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Yeah, so sometimes I tweet. And these days, I don't tweet like before. Mm. Oh, before the every day, like, yeah. you know, but now I slow down small. Because of rain? Uh, mm, <laughs> not really, not really, not because of rain, but I have a surprise for Ghanaians, so I want to slow down small. When the time is, is getting close, then I'll start my Twitter. Twitter fingers. Another baby. Oh. Lord, please. Amen. Another one. No, not yet. Okay. But, the, I but mean, I'm the looking options forward are open. to... Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You want a boy to compliment me? <laughs> no. 
They are too stubborn. I want another girl. Two girls. Twins? Yes. Heck, I'll be happy, I swear. What's the best thing about having a daughter? Oh, so now, anytime she's standing in front of the mirror, she's like, Mommy, makeup, like yesterday. <laughs> even yesterday. And I'm like, Ren, you don't need makeup to look beautiful. Because she sees Mommy doing of the makeup. Course. And I'm like, oh, God, did you my bank cry? Like, I don't want her to grow up thinking you need something more to, you know, this is like what we do. We're entertainers. You need to look a certain way. But she likes the makeup. Yesterday, I did like some green eyeshadow for her and red lipstick before she slept. It's like a thing for her now, you know, so it's nice. And she'll go up and, you know, wear my shoes and fold my bags and wear my dresses. So it's, it's fun. What are your dreams for her? My dreams for her. Whew. To grow up into a beautiful, intelligent young lady with values. Great values. When you talk about values, what, 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 what are the key ones for Yvonne Nelson that you'd like to pass on to Rin? Um, respecting everyone, because that is a, a, a big thing for me. Um, in our area, I sometimes invite some of the, you know, people who sell around, they have kids and stuff. Okay. Yeah, they come home. Because I have a school, I have a daycare. Just like Mama. Yes, just like okay. Mama. So... I want her to grow up respecting everyone, you know. You don't have to hold a Gucci bag to, to earn or gain her respect, you know. She should look at people in their minds and how intelligent they are and she should be able to help people and love and not be judgmental. So a lot. I'm sure she's going to learn from, from mommy. Just like mama, who's, which mama are we talking about here? All mothers. The name of your daycare. Sir. All mothers. All mothers. Yeah, because when you're there, when you bring your child to my school, it feels like they're home. The only difference is it's a school and we're teaching them. So yeah, it, when you come there, you'd, you'd see it's just such a nurturing environment, the facility, the teachers, the materials, the marketing my school. Did you ever think that you're going to be like an owner of a school? No. This whole business? <laughs> no, that's why I keep hammering on Rin. You know, she's been such a blessing. So I started the school because of her. Because um, when she was one year, I was looking ar around the area and I couldn't find anything, any place, any school that, you know, met my... Your high standards. Uh, something like that. No, no, if it be high, it be high. It's better than low standards. Something like that. Ooh. You know, first time mother, you'll be worried. Yeah. So um, I decided to go into it and, you know, test the waters. I spoke with professionals, uh, facilitators. I spoke with school consultants and I traveled, got some stuff, got a space. Here we are. We're two years and some months. So is this another arrow to your, your bow, <laughs> different things that you're doing? And, and so I'm not surprised that your, the, your description on Twitter is entrepreneur. Yes, yes. yes. For now, yes. Okay. Yeah. What other things are there on the, in the horizon? I'm a curious guy. Apart from the two babies. Maybe a writer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Fiction, non-fiction, poetry. Memoir. Oh, you want to write a memoir. Okay. Are you, are you approaching some magic number? People like, when it's like they're 40 or they're 50, then they write a book. Are no. you approaching some magic number? Mm, I'm 37. I was 37 in November. You don't have any hang-ups with uh, mentioning your age? No. Oh, me, my gray hair. See, it's not like I'm, I wanted to come plenty. Mm. God, you slow it down a bit. <laughs> but I wish I had plenty gray hair yeah. so that, you know, people will respect me. Pa. Like when you see me and you're talking to me, you're doing like this. Hey, it's nice. It's a blessing. Why do people hide their ages? Like when I see all these grandmas on social media lying about their ages, I'm like, ah. <laughs> but Charlie, I'm a shroud. Like you're blessed, you know, and you look beautiful and you're lying about your age. So, so you're, you're never going to write on your, 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 your social media, oh, I'm plus one today. I, I see that stuff and it just... Football age. John DeMello just posted, uh, today's his birthday. Happy birthday, John. Okay, nice. Yeah, happy birthday, John. All right, John. Happy birthday. He wrote plus one, so he's doing... Ah, he's doing that thing again. Football age. <laughs> football age yeah. business. <laughs> Talking about football, I mean, were you following us for the World Cup? I did. I watched a couple of times and I even had to tweet and big up Stephen Apia, Michael Asian, and, you know... Mm -hmm. Those in that era, I, I was comparing okay. then and now. With the kudoses and... Charlie. You prefer that time? Oh, yes. 
What did they have that these guys don't have? Ah, but it's evident. We saw it. How they were playing. But they didn't win anything. Didn't they break your heart? But at least, Stephen Apia and Co. Oh, they kept us going small mm. before finally they will break your heart. Asamwaja will come and break your heart. But. Have you forgiven him? Asamwaja. <laughs> oh, we've all forgiven him. We've all forgiven yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you there when, when that goal did not go in? Where were you? Remember? Hmm. I'm sure like I had a bucket in my hand. Because usually when they're playing, I have a bucket, like proper bathroom buckets and maybe a ladle or some stick or something and I'll be seeing the jama, you know. I don't like football though, but anytime Ghana is playing, I'm the coach. I can never put Yvonne Nelson and Jama in one sentence. You can sing Jama, you can see Jama. Sing one for me, I bet. Hey, I'm more than Langa Bell. Charlie, drop one for me. <laughs> drop one for I'll clap for you. I like that, I like that. It sounds like some traditional doctors. That's Langa Bell. <laughs> so, so, so you are, you are, you are, you are jamming, you are doing your thing and then the, the penalty didn't go in. Hmm. Hmm. Like, you, 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 you see, you, you'll be feeling all these things like, can, you guys, give us one last chance. Can we just reverse it and take it back? Like, Okay, this time he's going to he's going to get a ball inside. Mm. Like, what say I do know? Oh. It's gone forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and then there was another another miss this time. Did they also missed? That one I don't want to talk about it because if I talk about it, plenty will holler on social media. So you yeah. He's a he's a VIP player, right? What does that mean? Don't we know? I don't know. I believe that in this country, we have very great players who are always, always, always doing their who you know, this person is this person something and this. We need to stop. There are so many local players out there who can do it for Ghana. So what are we doing? Let me flip. Somebody also say, ah, you Yvonne, you're always casting magic. You're always casting John Dumelo. There are some good actors in the corner somewhere. Why don't you bring them on? The person has not been following my productions. If you look at this poster, we have um, two known faces. Mm -hmm. The rest are all new. And not just these ones you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. There's Senna, there's Laurie, there's, um, there's this guy. Oh, gosh, I forgot his name. So newbies. Majid and, Majid and myself are like the only old faces. Mm. Only. And last year, when I tried to do social media influencers, what happened? They became late. They blasted my set. They are not serious. So I've tried it all. Okay. And I had to reshoot. I still casted social media influencers. Because I just want to fall back a bit and, you know, give the People younger ones. Yeah. Okay. So I do it. Right. Everybody knows that about my productions. Can I ask for your permission to go and read your messages? Okay. Because they are for you. Please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm here hanging with uh, entrepreneur, filmmaker, uh, Yvonne Nelson in the house. Mickey Darling, your people are coming out. Yvonne is one of the courteous and affable screen goddesses Ghanaians admire so much. Keep it up, dear. Michael from Asha Laja. Sandy Oma, really enjoying the show. Kudos. Please tell Yvonne Nelson, I love and adore her so much. You should continue inspiring us. Sandra from Spintex Community 18. Good morning, Breakfast Show. What is Nelson's best song and what makes her happy in life? Be thinking about that. Your best song <laughs> or your best songs. Okay. I don't want to make you be too much under too much pressure my question to yvonne is what has been her greatest fear in the movie industry isaac from amantin bono east region greatest fear in the movie industry <sighs> getting poisoned getting po oh wow yeah. i have to explore that yeah. yvonne Nelson is always good at what she does but her political part is something i hate oh. she was able to organize a demonstration for doom so but in this hardship she did nothing it's hypocrisy she should involve herself in politics again with all due respect have you taken that advice or you still do your politics? I, I don't know what to say to Ghanaians, mm -hmm. you know, because um, Doom So Must Stop started on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And when all the issues started with this government, I've been tweeting. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always tweeting. Don't they see Doom So Must Stop caught fire on social media? Mm -hmm. So if I tweet and my tweet catches fire, I cannot go on the streets all alone. I never went on the streets alone. So I would need to build like a moment, you know, the momentum, have people following and all that. Mm -hmm. So that we hit the streets. So until then, I cannot go on the streets alone. So I'm not a hypocrite. Thank you for the work. <laughs>
Even there are some of us who are giving unconditional love to our wives and children. There's real agape God kind of love out there. Some people are exhibiting it. Pray and open your eyes. You will find unconditional love out there. Imano, I see you do. Give me some small advice there. Good morning, girl, and I have a great day. I have a great day too. Please, how can I join your productions? I'll be glad to hear to join. Bless God. How do how do people become part of YN? Auditions, you can send a DM to YN Productions or my page on Instagram. I love Yvonne from Central University Days, Raphael in Botiano Hills. OMG! Oh my god, Yvonne, you're still my crush. My crush. Hey, your eyes crying, they kill me. <laughs> god bless you. Good morning. <laughs> uh, how do you feel when people compliment you on things that you have no control over? <sighs> Medanya Miasi. That's all. <laughs> because he controlled it, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Somebody's typing. Kaf, I've always admired Yvonne. She's friends with my son, Kobe Kaur. And one day we meet her. We met her at the mail, at the mall doing a program. Charlie, it's, it's on fire for you. Her school will be one of the best across the globe. Frimpong, Imano, Achri, Kweu, Organic Prof. What a name. Nana Klagon. Shout out to sweet Yvonne Nelson. I love everything about her. Kudos, Nana Klagon again. Uh, she called somebody out. Okay, all right. She called somebody out. Okay, good. This lady used to be a good friend, but she unfriended me. Why? You've been unfriending people on social media. What, what go on? What I'm, go sure, on I'm sure he says something <laughs> rude. How would, I, how would you unfriend me? Because um, we are friends now. Uh, <laughs> what would I have to do? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I was following or maybe they said something and I blocked. Or, <laughs> good morning, BFS. Uh, uh, she's cool to somebody. Okay, good morning. I like Yvonne and what she does. She has not responded to my question. What has Question. been your greatest fear in the movie industry? Yeah. Isaac from Amazon. I said it. She said it. Yeah. Being poisoned. Yes. It happened to somebody you know? <clears throat> it's been happening. It's been happening. Yeah. Not to someone I know, it's but been I know happening. I know it's something that can happen. You know, so you need to watch your back. Something like that. Wow. Yeah. Not just the movie industry, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the entertainment industry. Why? Why do you think it's so? Don't we know? No, I want you to know your perspective. That's why you're I here. I feel like people would want to um, kick you out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you need to watch where you go, what you eat, what you drink, the people you hang out with. Do they, they think it's a zero-sum game that we can't all prosper together? Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I guess... <sighs> I just don't know how some people think, but you just have to be vigilant and watch your steps and watch your back. Watch your steps. Mm -hmm. Watch your back. Uh, super proud of you, Camido. That was your uh, January 1st. You love yeah. Camido. Of course, Camido. So I, I, it's not like I saw him start, mm -hmm. but before the sugar cane mm -hmm. blew up, um, yeah, we used to hang out a lot. There was a time he even came on the Wine Island and all that, and we're making music. Mm -hmm recording you know he asked me to sing and all that so i saw um the hunger mm -hmm. you know he wanted us so bad and i'm just so happy that it's all happening for him you see no i don't i want you to sing something for me <laughs> oh, please, I think. what's your best what are your favorite songs what kind of music do you like anything or bravo anything nas lauren hill camido uh, yeah, I'm an OG. I love the OGs. Nice. I know I can. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. And right. Obrafo, anything Obrafo is it's amazing. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a sack person? Um, I enjoy some of his songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's done something with uh, uh, Bob Marley, and everybody's like, like, most a lot of people are giving him love, but Ghanaians are actually going are going after him. So like, oh, how can you do a feature with a ghost? Blah 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 blah. Are you, are you following those conversations? Like fans or industry people? No, no, fans. And some fans. industry people too are also, you know, kind of, well, it's no big deal, you know? Yeah, well, that's how it is. Mm. You know, when, when we're supposed to celebrate, mm -hmm. we don't. And yeah, it's something we should stop because, you know, it's, it's not good for our mental health. It's, um, yeah, people are supposed to celebrate wins like this. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it was easy getting yeah. on, you yeah. know, a track And they reached that. out to him. You see? <laughs> So it's good as a yeah, win, as a yeah. win for him, for Ghana, for the continent. And it's beautiful that he's able to, you know, collaborate with Bob Mali. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you deal with hate? Hate. So on social media, sometimes I ignore, sometimes I'll block. Um, but that's where it, it ends and stops, you know. Um, the real Yvonne, my real life, I don't even allow the whole social media hatred to get into. 
my real life mm. no not at all maybe when i started when i came into the industry but now no i really do not care do that. no a little bit tells me that you, you directed a music video yeah was that Wallasi? yes two music videos okay. one for Wallasi and one for eno baroni I didn't know you into music video directing. I wanted to try it out, so I was helped by Hafiz and Felix Anaman. He's into wedding videography. Okay. So the three of us came together. How's to that different it. from what you normally do? <laughs> it, it's similar because I we were telling a story. You know, for Eno Baroni's like like this, for example, um, there was a storyline. Mm -hmm. So I had to like write the script and, okay. and do all of that. It was fun. It was fun. I want to do more. You want to do more? Mm. More music? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, hey, Charlie, you want nothing is out there ready to do music videos for you guys. So, if you're interested, uh, how do you get in touch with you? <laughs> uh, social media. Social media. Social media. All right. Yeah. We're going to wrap up this up pretty soon. Uh, let's, let's, a couple of quick more uh, questions. The truth mm. is for you? Um, better. <laughs> the truth makes mm. people uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, the truth is coming very soon, and maybe June, so people should watch out. Okay. It's going to be the truth and nothing but, but the truth. TV show? The memoir. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yes. Where will it end? I mean, uh, what's the timeline from when you were little to what time? Till, okay, till now. Till now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The truth. What's the most uncomfortable truth you've been told? Uncomfortable. Yes. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, growing up as a girl in our society, there's certain pressures that we all go through. And um, when you get to, maybe when you're reaching 30, so my 29th, no, 30th birthday, I was crying because I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm an auntie. I'm 30 years old. I haven't gotten married. I wasn't in any, you know, like I felt like I haven't achieved anything. And the kind of pressures we go through and the kind of things that we've grown up knowing or thinking that, okay, you need to do this and that and that and that else. Charlie, you haven't reached anywhere in life. Yeah, I feel like it's unfair to a lot of um, young girls coming up. Mm. The whole marriage thing and, and all of that. You still get that heat? I, I used to. I used to. My mom was actually pretty much planning a wedding for me, you know, because she's like um, a big person in my church, the Methodist church. And she, she would go like, oh, so your wedding is going to be like this and like that and the church and this. I'm like, she gave you a guy also? <laughs> no. But I kept telling her, ma, even if I'm going to get married, I'm not going to do that to your church, church thing. So I will do what I want to do. If you're going to get married now. If I will ever months, get what, married. What, what, but if you were, what kind of ceremony would you be planning? I would hang out on the Hawaiian Island wearing shorts with my friends doing a barbecue. And maybe saying the vows. And playing music and doing karaoke. And mommy would be in the audience? I don't think my mom... My mom has never been there. Mm -hmm. My mom, she's not... You know, she doesn't like all those things. And I don't think I would invite any outsider. Maybe just the people I hang out with. That will be it. <laughs> you talked about Nas. Nas. Here comes Nas for you. Special request. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yay. Right here on GTV Yay. Breakfast. Hanging with Yvonne <laughs> Nelson. Nas, one of her favorite musicians. Don't stop now. Because I can't stop now. Brave heart. You should hate me now. Come on. Take the money I see, clothes that I buy, ice that I wear, flows that I try, close your eyes, picture me rolling, sixes, money falling, chicken, honeys that swollen, the riches, knots get in ya, most critically acclaimed, Pulitzer, prize winner, best storyteller, thug narrator, my style's greater, model data, big threat to a lot of you haters, commentators, ringside try, watching my paper, almost a decade, quite impressive, most of the best is in the S's, for this rap stuff, that I stand for, expanding more to the big screen, Bill Gates dreams, but it seems you'd rather see me in jail with state dreams want me off the scene fast but good things last like your favorite mc still making some mean cast first rapper to bring a platinum black back to the projects but you still want to hate be my guest i suggest money is power i got millions of thugs on salary do it now 
you can hate me now I won't stop But I won't stop now I can't stop Cause I can't stop now You now. can hate me You can hate me now Do it I hate now. you too But I won't stop now Come on, Come on. Now. Cause I can't stop now Come on You can hate me now you can hate me Do now. it now You can hate me now Do it now I told you do it now all right, so that's Naz. What, is, what memory is this? This one brings back to you. When I was in uh, senior high school, mm -hmm. I used to rap. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so I would learn all the lyrics, you know, any song of his, I would just learn it and go on stage and go and lie to people. That is my rap. What was like your, your Monica? What was your name? What was your name? Did you have like a name? Oh, I don't want people to know. I want to know. <laughs> Nobody's listening, just me and you. Can tell okay, me now. Ivonique. Ivonique. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on the stage right now, this is your microphone. Ivonique. Let's go. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I. Ghana from a rabbit here. Oh, here, full frobby up here. Wait here, all your cats are cheer. Jama, oh, free, I have you. Hey. <laughs> Yes, man. Yvonique. I love the name, man. That should be like a record label name or something. You see? Man. Yvonique. How did you spell it? Um, <laughs> I-V-O-N-N-I-Q-U-E. Hey. Yeah. I-V-O-N-N-I-Q-U-E. <laughs> Child, I love the name. It's for patent ammo. You see? Yvonique. Yeah. School days. Where did you go to school? Um, Martin Nipore School. Oh, that's one. Yeah, and okay. Dunson One. Okay. Um, Agri Memorial. Okay. Cape, Cape Coast. Okay. Central University, and then my master's at Kimpa. Okay. Um, fun times. What were the fun times? What were the best times? Was it primary, secondary, university? <sighs> On different levels of fun. Yeah, I would say maybe senior secondary school uh -huh. because of, you know, entertainment. So I didn't really take my books seriously when I was in school. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I ended up staying at home for two years. Uh, I had to rewrite. Rewrite, uh -huh. okay. But yeah, those were fun moments because I was always looking forward to the Saturdays because I'll go on stage and perform. Yeah. Yeah. Yvonique. Yes, yes, yes. I had the whole school on fire. And you're dancing too? No, I was just rapping. I had like backup dances. Hey. Oh, I'll, be, I'll food, be in my durag and my t-shirt. I need to see a, You have to throw a picture of that next week Thursday. Just throw back. All right? I have it. I have it. Please. I'll, I'll, I want to see that. With your durag. Yes. My sneakers, the mic. Hey, I was like a full tomboy. Full one. So when I did Miss Ghana, my classmates were like, ah, is that Yvonne Nelson? No, it can't be. I was walking like a boy. Everything. Everything was just like a boy. Who convinced you to go and do Miss Ghana? My friend, Karen Okata Boating. She has a good luck charm. She convinced me to do Miss Ghana. And the days Abdul Salam Omuni met me, she was there. So anytime any great thing hap happens to Yvonne Nelson, this woman... Is always there, so I don't play with their car. Carol. Yeah, Karen. Karen. Okata, okay. Boating. Nice. Did you enjoy that Miss Ghana experience? Um, hmm. I learned a lot. I wouldn't say I enjoyed it, but I had to. You know, it's it's been a, a beautiful journey, and I learned so much from Miss Ghana. How to sit, how to talk, how to, you know, do all of that. It was nice, um, but yeah, the last, the finals, I fumbled with my last question and I could not make it. So I was, I was amongst the last five, the perfect five. Mm -hmm. I won two awards, but you oh. know, the last question. What was the question? Um, if you were a judge, what would you ask a finalist and why? I think my answer was about the G8 summit or so. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know how to, I don't know, I was, hey, I was just thinking things and I was saying nonsense, <laughs> you know, so I just realized, oh, Yvonne, what you're saying is not making sense. I just stopped and I walked off. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was it. That was it. I did not make it. But thankfully, I'm thankful that I didn't win Miss Ghana because I don't think I would have been here, sitting here with you. You don't think the acting yeah. career would have taken off? Yeah, because beauty queens usually end up not no disrespect but you know we're all entertainers they don't 
explore other things and maybe i would have just been conceited yeah. always thinking that there's a crown on my head you know walking around like princess tyra mm -hmm. so um when you fail you work harder so yeah. i for me i'm i'm lucky that i yeah. i didn't win i always wondered why the, those who are runner up or third or fourth they tend to kind of explore and do different things yeah rather than the person who actually won the crown yes yeah we've got some more uh, feedback on social media give me the, the the wave how did they teach you to do the wave the, the, the wave. wave oh like that <laughs> how can they just do this i know <laughs> or like this hey, Charlie, hey, what, 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 what's all this man hey Charlie, we used to sit like oh, this show me the seat, like, show me the seat, man. you have to like hey like this or yeah like this I mean, All it, the is time. Is there a way to stand Charlie, as well? Your, 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 your legs will be hey, shaking. You're, you're, and you have to sit like that. Hair, like this. And then they teach you with how to use cutlery and things? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> what Charlie, the world? <laughs> that was crazy. But yeah, yeah I, was, I learned all of that. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I'm here for more. Yeah, more. There's people, people love you, man. People love you. People love you. So, more. Okay. So, ask Ivan Nelson one question. Charlie, so this one is, which one is this one? <laughs> this one, I was trying to get my, um, I don't know, Miss Ghana thing up. Uh, beauty, Please release me, beauty, I'm stuck. Beauty pageant. Please. Release me. I've released you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, questions. Does she still talk to Inyanya? Yeah. Who's Inyanya? Inyanya is um, a Nigerian mm -hmm. Afrobeats. Mm -hmm artist mm -hmm. yeah i still talk to him once in a while did he love you um i don't think he did <laughs> did you love him i did okay but it just didn't work out yes 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 okay. somebody wants to know how you, if you can help settle his medical school fees and thank you in advance for any decision taken do you, do you get these requests a lot that people want you to help them a lot how do you how do you how do you process this request you know, like a foundation or something? No, sometimes I don't even believe if they're telling yeah, the they're truth okay. yeah, or okay. not. So you have to verify. Yes. How are you able to keep going for so long? God, number one, okay. and um, working smart, working hard. Okay. I saw your Thank You Jesus tweet on the last day of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where can you get a ticket for your upcoming movie? Accra Mall. It's selling now. You can go there today and purchase your ticket. How do you overcome your challenges? My challenge is, hmm, that's a tough one. It depends on what challenge it is. If I'm on set and I need to get something done, I make sure that, yeah, you think smart and... Why are you afraid to fall in love, Sister Darlington? Because you become vulnerable, you know, you... And love slows you down a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's just that vulnerability right. and having someone lie to you in the end yeah i feel like that's that's my major concern and you said married women get hard me i have no shadow hard like Charlie, that too. you have I, no hard i no get hearts like that too mm. yeah 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 okay. <laughs> all righty uh this one just kind of that's interesting sweet. It says uh, my dop keeps asking me why i'm not in a relationship it bothers him your dop is a director of production yeah uh, photography photography yeah so well, he keeps asking why you're not in a relationship and it bothers him yeah ivanda so ivanda is always asking me not once not twice many times Ivo the other day we had to sit down he had to call my other crew members we sat down to find out why i'm not dating anyone is he in a relationship i think he's married <laughs> you have to confirm though. oh he's married he's married oh he's married <laughs> what was the conclusion Charlie, I just told him I haven't found anyone. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's, it's, it's an honest answer. Yeah. Before we wrap up and you give us a, a reminder on Kotoka, what is this? Do you know what this is? It looks like ginger. Uh, pineapple ginger? Pineapple ginger ginger? Yeah. This, Yvonne Nelson, is water from oh, stop. River Pra. Are you serious? I fetched it myself. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think it would ever change? Like uh, leadership and, you know, 
the fact that they don't care about the environment and they like they know who and who and who is doing what but then we talk ah and then nothing is being done about it and then you go and do your own investigation you'd realize that oh there's a big man in there somewhere or even the, the Chinese people here are actually being you know supported by uh, security personnel and like is it ever going to change I don't think so people are benefiting from it run for president when you cross 40. I wanted to do politics so bad but when I went to school and I started learning about all these things and, and how much of a disaster and Okay, the rest I won't say. I was like, hey, Yvonne, you have to start lying. Can you do that? I cannot tell lies. Chat with John and see how it goes. Who John wants to be a politician. John. He's a politician. Don't much do Melo. Who's better yeah. than today? Yeah. I mean, that is the path he has chosen, you know, and I wish him all the luck. Not your path. I, I can't do much lying. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Her movie is out on Valentine's Day. Yeah. It's called Kotoka. You need to watch it. The trailer alone got me thinking. Yeah, this I probably did. Where can they find the tickets? Yeah, so the tickets are selling. They're selling really fast at the Silver Bear Cinemas, Accra Mall. You can go and get yours today, or you can wait till the premiere day. Um, you can go early at 6 p.m. and get your tickets. It's going for just 80 Ghana. Let me ask as a last question, Valerie's question. If you were to put out a tweet today, what would that be? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I'm going to tweet because of this question. <laughs> okay, all right. So we'll see you later. Yeah, let yeah. me surprise you. Yeah. <laughs> Yvonne Nelson, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank and you so uh, much. I told you we're all giving you two scoops of goodness today. So this was vanilla and up next is chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>